Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm back. Yay. I have uh, gotten moved. Uh, my movers were the um, moving company that is uh, staffed by off-duty Amarillo firefighters. So that was really great. It's moving on up. They were fabulous. They came to Raton, picked me up, <laughs> and brought me here. And they were wonderful. Very efficient. So, super glad I did that. It's the first time I've actually had someone professional move me. I will probably never ask my friends to help me again as far as the actual move part because it's so easy just to have someone who's very good at it do it. So, that was fabulous. It was That was a great experience. Went off smoothly. No problems. No issues. Welcome to moving day. It's finally here, although... Y'all, I've been packing like a mad woman the last eight days. I can't believe it's been barely a week since I did my last video because it seems like a month. <laughs> There's been so much packing and honestly, I'm so exhausted. But the day's finally here. The movers are on their way. They're going to be here shortly. So uh, I was going to give you a last look at the Room of Chaos. I'm in the Room of Chaos again, but it looks very different. Very different indeed. I've made a lot of progress. I'm going to pan around so you can see it. See? Very, very different room. <laughs> it is deep in boxes. And this isn't the only room. Uh, there's about three rooms that look like this, which is crazy. You know, you don't realize how much stuff you have. And even going through it and getting rid of stuff, oh my gosh, it's just so much stuff. I also vastly, and I mean vastly, underestimated the number of boxes I would need. Oh my lord. Y'all, I used so many boxes. I ended up going um, four times back for boxes. Uh, I used boxes that I got for free. I used boxes that I had that I emptied stuff out of and donated. Um, I've also made three trips to donate stuff. So, I mean, it's not like I've gotten not gotten rid of stuff. I've gotten rid of a lot. And it's still just so much. So, yes, declutter while you can. Do not miss the opportunity to declutter. <laughs> because the day you're moving, or the week you're moving, is not the time to do it. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to show you a few other shots here around the uh, house. And, um, and then, hopefully, I'll get some footage of the movers moving me, too. This is the room I normally film in. And you all can tell it's also just packed with boxes, Furniture, stuff to move. Oh my goodness. Carl finally got my ceiling fan put up. I was going to do it myself, but thank God I didn't because there were some electrical issues. So yay for friends. Now here we are in the living room, also packed with boxes and furniture. Uh, one thing I did want to show you is, while Carl was over here helping me, we also removed all the carpet. Yay! You know, one of the things that I do plan to do, uh, I'll come back here in a couple of days, and I'll put in the new flooring right before I sell the house, at least in the living room. Uh, there's enough flooring to do all of the carpeted areas, but I don't have time for that. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it for the next owner, but I'm going to at least do the living room because it was honestly the worst. And there was so much dirt, y'all. I can't even. Of course, 27 years of dirt. The house is 27 years old. And so, yeah, you can imagine, especially the way the dirt blows here. Uh, that is pretty awful. Now, one of the things I'm doing today is... Uh, Gracie May is staying with Carl and Melissa for the next few days while I uh, go with the movers and get my stuff moved. Today I am taking my kitties with me, Miss Carmel and Tashi. They are going with me and I'll get them settled in the new house because uh, they can stay a few days by themselves. And so <clears throat> when I come back midweek, I'll stay a few days here doing the flooring, getting things cleaned up, putting the house on the market, and then I'll go back uh, with Gracie. So that's how that's going to flow. <laughs> so I think we have a plan there for the pets. Um, the movers are about to be here. I'm super excited, but so, so tired. Hey, Arrow. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Arrow. The moving dog. <laughs> the room of chaos that was in the old house is now in the new house. <laughs> And I have been here well over a week now, and I have been unpacking. These boxes were stacked completely to the ceiling. There's boxes all behind this camera. There's boxes in every room. 
you know, it's just uh, difficult when you go to a new place to figure out where to put everything and where you want things and um, honestly, especially towards the end there, I was just putting stuff in boxes, so there's some stuff that I've got to go through and figure out what goes where, and that's normal. You know, moves are chaotic. They're really, really chaotic. And uh, I was also moving uh, my animals. Um, the kitties came with me the day I moved, but Gracie stayed behind for a few days. Um, I just thought it'd be easier not having her underfoot, and it was. But then when I went to get her, she was experiencing some severe separation anxiety because the house had been chaos. I was gone for several days in a row, and I normally don't leave her very long, but uh, when I've left her before, everything was normal. The house was normal. Her stuff was where it was supposed to be. And this really has proved to be a challenge for her. Uh, heathers are kind of OCD dogs anyway. <laughs> And so when things are discombobulated, they get very, very anxious. Uh, and she has been very, very anxious. She's much better now. We've had uh, some time, almost a week now, to try and get used to the new place. And I've been here every day, all day. And now I'm going to be gone part of the day. And so um, I went out to check out a daycare for her. And I'm going to be easing her into that daycare. Um, I would like to go out and do a video of the daycare. And hopefully I'll be able to do that. Because it is a stellar facility. I was just so impressed with them. Here's a picture of her new school bus. It's so cute. I can't even. But they take really good, good care of the dogs. Uh, she also needs some additional uh, vaccinations. Because I use, you know, tractor supply vaccinations. And they require an actual vet. So I'm going to take care of that today. And just taking care of, there's a thousand things when you move. It's like it's a never-ending list of stuff to do. Changing address on all your cards, changing, uh, you're doing your address on your mail, you're changing bank accounts, you're cha there's just so much. I still have to go and change my driver's license, and it is just this huge ball of change. But that is a really good thing. It's an exciting thing. Uh, as stressful as it is, and it has been stressful, I have been so tired, y'all tired like I have never been. <laughs> so I'm really glad I had some time to move before I started uh, doing something different, before I needed to really be productive and be doing some other things. So I'm really glad I had this opportunity to kind of whew, uh, chill in the new place, to start getting things sorted out, at least enough where I could live here. Uh, there were some things that needed to be done to the house, and those are mostly complete now. And so all of that has just been a fabulous whir uh, whirlwind. But I will tell you, and most people will say, it is the dread of moving that is the big thing you have to get over. It's not the move itself, even though I've been incredibly tired and there's a lot to it. It is not the actual physical one place to another. It's the dread of it that really gets the best of us sometimes. So as I show you these pictures of uh, some of my move day, there was just not a lot of true stress. It was the anticipation of stress, that something would go wrong, that something wouldn't work out. That is what gets us every time. And a lot of times it will convince you to stay where you're at and keep doing what you're doing, even if it is not serving you anymore. Even if you are somewhere you don't want to be. It will convince you, that dread, that, you know, just not wanting to change. It's just so much easier to stay where you are. And it is. It's so much easier. But that doesn't mean your life won't be better, maybe even improved, if you go ahead and make that change. Change is hard. Moving is hard. You know, it's all hard. You just have to choose your heart. Staying where you are in a place that really is maybe not the best life for you is also hard. Which heart are you going to choose? Well, thankfully, I chose this heart. And I'm really glad I did. I really am glad I did. The cats have had very little anxiety. Miss Carmel had a little anxiety until Gracie showed up. Interestingly enough, uh, she calmed down right away once Gracie got here. Tashi has acted like the whole world is Disneyland. She has enjoyed it. She has had fun. She has played and played and played. No problems. <laughs> And you know, one of the things and one of the reasons I moved was, as many of you know, my brother has brain cancer and he's been doing real well. Well, he had a scan a couple of weeks ago. He's no longer doing well. 
Um, they put him back on hospice and they have told him it's now down to weeks. He only has weeks. I don't know what that means. They don't know what that means. But it's probably going to be imminent. And so we have family coming in. We have a lot of people visiting and that will be going on as well. Here again, this wasn't unexpected. It's just that it's time now. And I'm so glad I got this move out of the way before um, this particular stage of the game. Because I'm here now. Um, it helps out in so many ways that I am here. I can talk to him every day. I can see him every day. And that's really going to be important. Anyway, I'll be, getting, um, I'll be giving you more updates. As we go along, more things about the house, more things I'll be doing outside. I'm really excited um, to be able to have a garden this year. We'll see how far I get on that. If I actually have an in-ground garden or if I actually do containers and then build my greenhouse. A little undecided on that, depending on how the time rolls. Because uh, we're already into, this is almost April. So, uh, anyway, thanks for uh, sticking with me and watching. And I'll be giving you more updates soon. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs>